Hi there, Michelle with Crafty Surveys. We're just gonna paint today. So I haven't come on to just paint paint for a while. And this is relaxing for me. And I know some of you say that you could sit here and watch me paint. I'm not an expert painter by no means. I just enjoy. I enjoy it. So if you enjoy it, you might as well do it, right? So come on, say hi, let me know you're out there. So I'm painting a snowman. I'm paint I sketched him out on here already. I'll show my original sketch. I, I made a little deviations from it. Um, we're gonna add like a scarf maybe. He's gonna have a jacket. So I don't know. This was my original sketch. But it's a little different from here. So, and I just, you can see how I just sketch and then I erase. Even on here, I sketch and erase. Um, the secret of the sketching that I use is I use one of the artist pencils because you can erase them really easily and then they come with a, a pencil. So I just get a Hobby Lobby. You can get them at Walmart, it, the, the pencil kits. That's where you can get. I was going to paint the snowman vintage white, but I think I'm going to use warm white. And we might add a little vintage white in. Thank you, Susan, for passing me on. So if you, let's see if you can see. You can see I sort of have just, I have just the rough sketch of the snowman on here. All right, and then I added like this one, it's different from this one that I sketched. The bottom went all the way to the bottom. Um, this one, I decided I'm going to have a little bit of coat on him. So the coat's going to go almost all the way to the bottom. I think it's going to be cute. Let's go ahead and get started because I have no idea how long this is going to take. It could take a while, but I'm warning you now, right? All right. We're just starting. Now I can see my outline of the sketch mostly. I have to turn it sometimes to see it. Let me tip you down a little. I don't know if I can pull you forward. There, I just pulled you forward a little too. So I'm going to be cut off a little bit just so well, my head will be cut off. That's all right. You don't need to see me completely. You don't even need to see me at all. That's pretty. And I don't think I'm going to do complete solid coverage. Now that I'm seeing it on here, I think I like that real rough look. I don't think I want a real solid coverage. I want a sort of rustic. This surface, this like long breadboard, I got at Hobby Lobby when they were clearancing them. I don't even have a price on them. Honestly, I got them for a few dollars. That was it. I picked up a whole mess of them. They were all on clearance. They had smaller ones in this. And they also had um, like the wood spoons and stuff too with the big, big round wood spoons. All right, honestly, that's all I'm going to do for the face for right now. Uh, I don't think I need a very solid coverage. So, all right, we're, we're just roughing these hands in there. And I'm going to end up putting a star hanging down. What I may do, I think that's all of the white. Can you see how he's taking shape? I may just do, I have this star here sort of as a sample, and I thought I would do a rustic star otherwise. But I may end up just gluing it on here too. We'll see. All right, so, oh, I need a little more white. Oh, Susan, I am painting a snowman. I'm just painting a snowman. I'll show you my rough sketch, and then I sketched it bigger on here, and I just made a few changes. This was my rough sketch that I, I just play. Some nights I just sit here and sketch. That... Kim, that's relaxing to me, sketching and painting. Even though I'm not the best at anything like that, I still enjoy it. So that was my rough. Um, and we're just creating it on this Hobby Lobby board. This will end up, 
Um, I believe I'll probably auction it off because I don't even know what kind of price I would put on it. I'll probably auction it off. Maybe I'll just post a picture and do like a day auction. I don't know. Or I'll do a live auction, possibly. Maybe we'll do a live auction. Um, just because I don't know what I put on it. I do plan on selling it. You know, unless somebody gives me an offer they want. But wait to see it. Wait to see it. <laughs> Don't give me offers now. That makes me so nervous. All right. So again, I'm not painting real full coverage on it. I'm not even going to. I like that. I like that wood showing through a little bit on there. I hope so, Susan. Hello, Paula. Hello, Vicky. All right. So now my debating on the coat. I think I'm going to go with with browns. I was going to do black, but I think that's too harsh. We're going to go with browns. Get my tray over here seeing Mr. Cash I ain't even going to come and say hi to y'all. So either he's mad at me because I took too long to sit down again, or he's mad at you all. This is the second time he has not come on. In a roll. All right, I'm just looking at a color that I want. Where are my colors? Here. Let's use. We're going to either use espresso or dark chocolate. I think let's use dark chocolate. I'm just going to rough in all these different areas, and then we might do a little highlighting on it. Uh, we're going to add a scarf. So I'm just trying to picture. And I like this little brush, doing it with this little brush, just because then I see a little bit of the marks. And look at this, this. You can see the wood grain through it. I'm going to leave it like that. I decided as I'm painting here, that's what I want. I'm going to leave a wood grain. We're going to keep this a little bit rough looking. So this probably won't take as long as what I thought it would. We have little details and stuff as we go. Let's do, all right, I'm just picturing, uh, I'm sorry if you can't see, can you see what I'm doing okay here? I'm sorry. I need one of those turntable things. Now, these I went rounded, so I think I'll still be able to see that, and down here I'm going straight down. So I think you're going to be able to see that, and I think I'm going to be able to see that to add a little bit of the highlighting in. If I just go straight down, then I still see that shape of that arm there. That helps me. Let's do this one. Do you like this as, as more like a little bit see-through that it's going to make it a little more like a, a little rustic? I mean, it, it's not, I can't say that, I mean, the surface really isn't rustic, but it's going to just be a fun, not a perfect, not a perfect painting by no means, which I never am on my painting. But I love the idea of this wood showing through. I did this one other time on something else. I think it was a gnome. I was going to paint a beard, and it was on a white board, and it had all grain running through it. I left the beard alone. It looked just like a beard. I just did the out outlining. Oh, a Valentine's snowman. That's actually a good. I could do a heart instead of I have a star here. I could do a heart. I can do that. That's a good idea. Thank you. <laughs> Great idea. We'll do a heart. Perfect. 
perfect idea. He's looking cute. He looks like a gentleman. He looks like a gentleman. Hello. All right, let's do this now. It's going to be the coat all the way down, and I'm going to do that straight again also. So again, I see that arm line. Try and rough in these hands here a little bit though. I love using this little brush on here. I think that's turning out really, really good. All right. Bring that up a little bit. I can see I'm a little off on that side. And he's a wide snowman. I'm putting him all the way out to the edge of here. But this is sort of a skinny surface. This is probably only, I would guess, like three inches. If you're hopping on late, this is one of my clearance items that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, probably in the fall. It, it got it for just a few dollars. I got a bunch of them because... because they were on sale. They were clearance. They weren't even just on sale. They were clearance. I got them for a few dollars. And smaller ones than this, I probably got for a couple dollars. And I got some wood um, spoons with the big heads to them. Touch up that white a little bit down there. Yeah, Kathy, that gnome was it it was the gnome and I did it. It was a it was a patriotic gnome. So it actually worked having a white beard. Alright, I think, you know. I don't know if I should paint the sides. I don't know that I want to paint the sides though. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll paint the sides um, just to give it a finished look. As finished as it can be. And I'll do a little bit of white on the bottom of the side. All right, so I just finished up the sides a little bit. I'm just slanting the body out that way. I don't know that it needed it, but just picturing it's not, let's see. I think the body should have come out lower than those arms, but I'm just trying to picture how I'm going to fix that. When I put the lines in here, I think that's going to make it, I think that'll make it okay. Because I'm going to add, add detailing. Oh, thank you, Jeannie. I mean, I'm not a good painter. I, I really am, but I enjoy it. So, that I enjoy it. I said, there's things I do wrong. So many things I do wrong. I'm not a professional. Some of them I could just sit there and watch all day long because they are professionals. And I love watching them. Okay. 
All right, got that so far. I think it'll come together when I start putting the scarf on. And let's do, let's do a hat brim. Should we do a hat brim? Well, let's decide first um, what color we're going to use for the scarf. All right, we had this guy, and then I'll do the hat brim the same. All right, so let's fill in now. I I like the idea of a heart. Let's um, let's still do let's do a little raw umber. We'll try and get some lines running through here. Thank you for those hearts. I don't even know what kind of brush I'm going to use for it because this is just, I'm just, I'm just doing it. I said I'm not an expert as I do things. So I'm just dipping in there. I'm just going to run some lines up and down. I'm going to use this, I think, for highlighting a little, too. All right, so let's do... Let's do, let's do a little... As if... The coat has a middle in here. Let's see. I'm trying to see where you can see it. So I just dip in, get that brush a little wet, dip it in the corner, and then I brush it. Let's see if you can see. Yeah, I'm doing that then with that. And I'm going to try and get like a middle of his coat here. We might put little buttons then. Try and get that a little darker. We might have to add another color on there too, or if we highlight around it, it'll be fine. Let's do around the arm too. I can see that the arms a little better too by by doing that I'm trying to hold it so you can see what I'm doing can I get an army so you can see and I can get a good direction on it uh oh did I freeze you gotta tell me if I froze. It looked like I was frozen. Now I look going again. So this is just the raw umber that I'm using just to make a little shadow or on the outside. Let's add a little under where the scarf is going to be. <laughs> Genie. <laughs> All right. If you guys don't see the comments, she said, I went to a class to paint a jellyfish and mine turned out a tambourine with ribbons. <laughs> I tell you, mine don't always turn out. Mine don't always turn out. I make the best of it. All right. 
Um, I'm just doing around these hands down here. I feel like the coat should be... I shouldn't have done all the way around the outside of the coat, but it's all right. It's all right. He's a jolly snowman. Let's add a little more here. I want that darker. And I'm just shading a little on the bottom here. Same with that. It's with that raw umber again. So the coat itself, I use dark chocolate. And then I'm using raw umber for the shading. I think I'm going to use, let me get one of these. Just a round brush. Let's wet it a little though. Um, what am I going to do with it? I'm just going to make little. Can you see that on the arm? No, you can't. We'll see. We'll see. You'll see it. Just wait. I'll make you see it. I'm just putting little creases. And put a little dark. Might be able to get more pronounced just using a round brush, not necessarily shading it. Um, and then let's do some creases going down this coat. Again, I don't want to fill it all in. I love the look of that wood coming through. Let's just do a little darker on the arm here. So instead of the shading, I decided I'm just going to come in and do a little darker. Um, oh, we need to do finish the coat up this way. Okay. So it looks like he's going to have a button coat. We'll put little buttons on him. Because he's two colors are so close together I can get away with just painting it with this round brush instead of highlighting and if I really don't want tons of paint on here and I'll turn it around to show you again all right can you see a little more of the detailing now it's going to look like a snowman, though. Did we decide what color scarf we want on him? Let's do his, let's do his cheeks right now. I'm just using blush. It seems to go on better this kind, at least with my finger. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, we got cheeks on our snowman. All right, let's go ahead and do the nose. Are you giving me ideas for the scarf? Let's do Warm Sunset and Georgia Clay. So Deco Art, Warm Sunset and Georgia Clay. We'll start with the lighter color, I think. Maybe a red scarf. All right, let's get a little, we need a little skinnier brush here for that nose. Okay. 
you did find me live. Forest green, green and white stripes. Green, all of you are saying green, green, green. Well, we might do that. All right, let's just do a nose. So um, I'm just going to do... Our basic nose, make it a little longer, and I'm I do a little bumpy on the top of it, so it looks more like a carrot. If you're just hopping on, y'all, you know, remind me at the end. All right, that's going to be the size of his nose, I think. You don't need any bigger. Stick with the earth tones on the scarf. See, and that's what that green might be a little dark too and it's thicker that fabric that's the only thing is I don't know what it's going to be like to have um having a bow all right and I'm just going to take a little Georgia clay put along the bottom here a little on the back Little, little tiny orange. Okay, you see the little bit in there. Get some water on here. All right, now we're getting to a point where we got to decide the color of the scarf. So I could go with. I, this is one of my new favorite greens. This, um, I think this is the one. It's called Grass Green. I almost, I really like that. But if I'm going to do blue in the scarf, let me just see. We may end up not even doing a bow at all. I do like the Hauser Light Green also. Fresh foliage is a little bit lighter. What do you think? Do you should I go? Well, they're they're similar. Let's do this grass green, maybe. Well, actually, let's do the we're gonna go lighter. Blue and tan scarf, that's a good idea too. Let's let's do lighter. Let's do um because I don't know that that fabric will necessary. I mean, that could be my inspiration for all this, but um, let's just do let's do this fresh foil foliage. It's folk art. And we'll put little stripes on it. Yeah, I sort of like that because it it it's not going to stand out a lot. We do sort of like that. And I could do a heart that's not red. I mean, what? Maybe we do a heart that's not red. That he's holding. Now I didn't sketch any of the other part of the scarf, but I'm going to sort of be. I want to. All right. So let me just see. I'm going to go down like this, and over. Down. That green on that brown looks amazing. I 
And then let's do um, Hmm. Do I want this one I had going across on my sketch there? Let's thinking I might want it out. Let's do it out here. Right, and we'll just do little little stripes again I'm keeping this sort of rustic I'm not filling everything in on it I'm, I don't want that let's also do a brim or a brim up here let's see what my hat goes to here A little bit wider brim it's okay if I didn't like it that wide I could always paint the black over it like I'm gonna be doing all right let's get the lamp black out let's see do we want a black hat I think so do we want a black hat or do I stay with the brown yep I will definitely add some detail down on the bottom I will do that. Um, color the hat. Do I do brown or do I do black? Maybe I'll do this, the dark brown. I was picturing black, but should we do the dark brown? Oh, we got a black. All right, tell me what, black or the dark brown? Give me some ideas there, what you'd like to see. You know, I could do, you know what I'm going to do? I'm, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to find my off black, which I think I have off black. I think I have off black. Soft black. Let's do soft black. It's going, to, soft black is like a crow color. It's a little bit brown. It's a little bit black. We're going to do that. Is he coming together though? Is he looking like a snowman? We have to decide his eyes also, his eyes and his mouth. I always get nervous on the mouth. The eyes I think are will be easy enough because they don't have to be even, but whether or not I'm going to do a line for the mouth or coal, maybe little pieces of coal for the mouth. All right, so let's do this hat. Yes, there will be buttons. Yep, there will be buttons. All right, now let's picture where this is. I'm trying to do it where you can see what I'm doing, too. Yeah, I'm liking this color. I said it's not going to be solid either. It's not going to be solid. Um, because I don't want any of it solid. Turn, turn, I'm sorry about that. I just wanted to see that other end. I love that collar. I love it. All right, let's just see how I have it traced on here. Actually sketched on here. And I'm not following the line right there. I'm just doing, all right. And then I'm just doing, again, I'm just doing little strokes. I don't want the solid color again, just like the rest of it I didn't do solid. Now he's coming to form. Thank you, Paula. This is so old. It's so old. 
gotta do um we gotta do a little bit of shading or coloring on the scarf now let's go with um this lush green that's going to add just a little highlighting we might add a little bit of lighter brown in there too let's just see what this looks like i think that might be sort of good Yeah, that's going to be good for highlighting on it. And I'm not doing the normal highlighting that I do. I'm just doing a little brush again. This brings that out. Um, now we got to bring this down so it looks like that's coming over the top. And then we'll do this one too. I said I am by no means an expert. I'm going to do that little bit of dark here. So it looks like it's coming out and over. Let's just do, we need this a little bigger. And then we're going to do some stripes, and that'll pull that all together. We're going to do long stripes, then that way it's going to look like that knot. Let's see. I probably shouldn't have done that. Let's see. That shouldn't have shading there. All right, I'm going to pull off some of that. That shading there. Because that shouldn't have been shaded. Because I've got the scarf coming over the top. So we're going to add a little more. Um, I'm going to add a little more of this light green coming down here. So it looks like it's coming over the top of the scarf. And this one is coming under, so we do need that shading there. All right, and we'll do a little along here. And then we're gonna do stripes so that we're gonna be able to see the difference. So let's use a lighter brown. Let's use this cocoa. Let's deco our cocoa. Uh, first, you know what? We're going to dry it up. We're going to do a little bit of highlighting with um, the white. So once I have these stripes on, I really don't want to do that. All right, let's get a scruffy brush here. And I'm going to dip in that warm white again that we used for the snowman. A lot of it off. <laughs> and that's why I do it is because all of a sudden you get a big clump like that. I don't want that. So I make sure it's all off. And I'm going to do that little bit in here. And do some coming down the scarf. Do some in here. And 
Let's do already something here. And we'll do a little more highlighting on that brim. I didn't do that, but, um, and then let's do, let's see. I don't know how much I'm going to do in here. I'll show you the difference between adding it in and not adding it in. I'll just do this one side. Oh, I like that. See that? Can you see the difference? You probably, you can't, I can see it. You can't see it. Add that in. I know you can't can't see it very well, but it's there. It's there. Oh, I gotta do a little on um, on the half rim too. You can see it on there. You can see it on the hat. We're gonna add some of that green around the outside up there too. But let's do so let's do that first. Add some of that darker green. And this hat brim on the outside. That'll be good. And it just pulls that together a little bit. Now let's do that cocoa color. We're just going to do little stripes. We'll use that same brush. And let's see. I'm going to do, let's see. Trying to picture so that I want it to look different. Um, it's a long way. We do it up and down, then we gotta do it across. So let's just do it. Let's just do it and then I'll figure it out. Um, I think I gotta go this way on this side. <laughs> this is where I say I'm not an expert at painting because I got a picture. Um, okay, so that was going, so then when I flip it over, it's the long way, so now I gotta go up and down. <laughs> this is where I gotta think, I gotta think. All right, I'm gonna do the opposite way, just because. I'd have to sit here and I'd get my scarf, I actually have a scarf over there I could go get and see what it would look like. And then this one will do the same. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I don't need any more. I was going to add another, another color of lines. I don't need that. We're going to add it up in the brim here too. It's just enough. It's just enough. Are you liking it? All right, I should put a collar on him. Let's see if we do a little. He needs like a collar. I'm afraid I'm going to wreck it if I do a collar though. He needs a collar. He needs one. Let's do. Um, let's see, pointy. It would be down this way. Let's just add a little. Because it looks funny without that. And you're not even going to see that it's a collar, but you see it. There. That looks a little better up on top there, too, I think. All right, buttons, buttons, and eyes. 
and a heart. Heart, heart. All right. Let's do let's do the soft coal for the eyes again. We're just gonna do wiggle it. And they don't have to be perfect then. And we're gonna do the mouth the same way. Let's start a bigger one here. And a little smaller and a little under his nose Let's do one here and a little one here. And they don't have to be perfect that way when you do that. All right, and we're going to do the same. We're going to use what color buttons? Let's see. Should we do some metallic buttons? Let's do some some gold buttons. And that I think I'm going to use a stylus for. Black buttons. That's idea too. All right, so let's do... Um, picture though the buttons are going to be opposite i <laughs> this one i feel like i went that way and this one i feel like i went this way um you know i'm going to put it right in the middle that works that's cute that is really, really cute. We're going to do a tiny one on the corner of the collar, too. All right, and then we got to do fringes yet. And we got to do a heart. Well, I'm glad I caught you, Miss Purple. All right, I'm dipping in the wrong. We have to do fringes here. Just doing the little lines. And then we'll go back in with the dark color too. Got some water in here. I really need it over here. I guess I could use it. I didn't put the scarf all the way all the way around. All right, and then let's do a little bit of the dark green in here. All right, and then we're gonna just add a little of that cocoa in here too. A couple of the little lines. I'm going to actually make lines with them. That didn't look good. Just make it till you like it. I feel like the hat brim should come down a little farther too. Let's do you know, soft black. Bring it a little farther down. I'm going to do a little, little bit of highlighting, I think. Let's use that cocoa, actually, on the snowman. Maybe I, I'm going to use a little vintage white, see what that looks like.
just see um, let's use that skinny brush again this one Thank you. Appreciate it. I said, I'm no by no means an expert. Um, I almost feel like I have to do some gray though. We're gonna add just a little bit of this vintage white in here. I used warm white to paint them. But we need some coloring a little bit. And we still have to do that heart down here. And we're going to do just a tad bit of gray, I think, just to do a little, or maybe just a little bit of the, the cocoa. Just a little cocoa, I think, for the highlighting. You don't need much. No, I don't, I think that's going to be too dark, even. I'm going to try the warm beige. That works really good. Do you see that? I think that works really good. Bring it around. And then we'll do these hands too. I am by no means an expert. I don't, my highlighting, low lighting is all the same. <laughs> but I just enjoy doing this. I think gray would have gone well in here too, but I can keep it more the earth tones. Add a little more of that. All right, what color heart are we going to use? What kind of heart are we going to use? I'm going to add a little bit of the darker lines up in here. We're just going to highlight around this hat, too. Let's do, yeah, we're going to use this black. The soft black again. Actually, I should probably use a darker, but with the regular black, just to. Oh, it's working. I'm gonna say I'm doing a second coat of this soft black around just to make that hat stand out a little more. Now again, I normally don't highlight like this. I don't you just use a regular brush, but because this is sort of, um, I can't say it's completely rustic, but I just, I didn't do full coverage anywhere. So just by adding this makes sort of a difference. We're gonna bring some lines through.
Everybody's saying a red heart. Okay. Or, um, or a dusty rose. A re let's do red with little dusty rose. So let's use rose mauve. Oh, this would be really pretty though. We could put, okay, I got a thought. We're going to do polka dots with that. Let's do what color red though. I don't want anything that's going to stand out too much. I think this Tuscan red is too dark. Let's do a rose heart with Tuscan red dots on it. Let's see how good I can get this heart now. Oh, and I have a button right in the middle there. All right, so I'm, um, let's see. I want you to see that it's a heart that he's holding. So it's not going to be. Okay. I'm just sort of sketching this. Gonna go right on top of his button here. I think you can see it's a heart. Let's bring this out a little farther. Down a little farther. And then let's put little dots, burgundy dots, or little Tuscan red dots on here. Or actually, I like the idea of like a burgundy. I have black cherry. Maybe we'll do little black cherry dots on here. You know what's going on in the half rim? Do you know? think you know um let's get out you know what this would be really cute too tuscan this is a tuscan red yeah let's do let's do the tuscan red you got it you got it all right we're just gonna do little dots then i am going to i don't like the snow like doing the splattering but we're gonna do it we're gonna see we're gonna splatter all right so i'm just using a stylus and we're doing dots oh, i should have went around the outside of the heart too just uh give it I'm going to do a little darker on the outside of the heart yet because you're not going to eat it should have a little darkness um, This one a little bit here. Let's mix 
just a little bit of that Tuscan red in with this pink. And I'm going to do that around the outside of here then. I told you this was going to be a long live because when I paint, I just paint to relax. And I hear the clock, so I knew it was longer live. Whoops. Just makes it come out a little bit. All right, stick on though because I'm going to show you that kit that I have ready here too. Okay, what else do I need? Am I pretty done other than my button? Oh, I'm going to do those paint splatters. Oops. Um, we're going to try it. We're going to try it. That makes me so nervous. I'm going to test it on my, well, let's see, I should test it on something first. We're going to test it on here first, just to see if I do it okay. Because I don't want, oh, I almost shook it with the home. I don't want, All right, let me just, I'm going to take, all right, we're going for it. I'm going to wet the brush a little bit, and I'm going to get some of that white paint on there. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. I did it, I did it and it didn't make an awful mess. I feel like I need a little highlighting on that nose yet. I did it, I did it. All right, sometimes I do it and all of a sudden I get a big blob. Um, I get a big blob and I don't like that big blobs. Um, let's do just a little highlighting on that nose. I'm gonna go back with that vintage. Actually, I used the warm white. most of it off. Oh, that's cute. Let's do a little on the heart too. I did, I'm so excited. There's a little spot in between the dots here. All right, should we get the button out? I think it turned out pretty cute. I get nervous painting on lives because I'm not always confident in myself. 
Let's get a button. Let's get a button. This is my pattern for the snowman head for my my snowman and penguin and elf and it's my pattern. All right, just a tiny little brown button. All my little ones are at the bottom. Oh, that's cute. I think we're going to go with the darker one. Let's just see. We got a little something different. Nope, I don't like that one. All right, I think we're going to go with that one. I think we're going to go with this darker one. Yeah, the light stands out way too much, so I think we got to go dark. Thank you, I appreciate it. There, that one I think will be good. Maybe add that little button on there. And then, like I said, stick on. I'll show you that cow kit that I'm going to be putting in later today. I've got, I'm, it's, it's done cutting right now, but I got to, I got to cut some more, a little more, and then um, I get pictures and everything. I'll do random act of kindness before I do that too. All right. What do you think? Did he turn out cute? So. Aw, oh, thank you, Pamela and Delilah. Helen, thank you. Oh, I think he turned out pretty adorable love him love him so much so i can show him a little closer there's all my little paint splatters that made me nervous now i did the only thing i didn't do is wrap the scarf around like i did the body i could have wrapped the scarf around but i didn't so the other oh i was going to you know what we could do here i decided i'm not going to add any fabric up here in a fabric bowl but what we could do is wrap some jute around up here. Just to finish it off. I think I want a bow. I'm just going to tie a knot. I think the green too, Deborah, Deb. I think so too. There, I like this knot better on top of here. So I got two knots on my jute. I like that better. There. 
with just with that little jute on it. I mean, it can always come off. I'm not gluing anything. We can always take it off. But, you know, I'm not even sure. What if we put that knot to the back? That's almost better. If we don't have, see any strings, that's almost better. Right? I think I like that. Yeah, I, he doesn't need a bowl. But, yeah, there he is. Doesn't, if I can bring this up now. There. There we got it. Now we got the whole thing. So, all right, we're going to do a random act of kindness drawing. And then I'll show you that cow kit if anybody's interested. It's going to be going into my Etsy shop later. I finally think I have my um, laser fix that is working really pretty good. So, cute, cute, cute. I could put a little dark highlights coming across in the scarf, but well enough alone this is probably going to go as an auction item because i don't even know how to price them he's just so cute 